was calculated. It was criminal. This was not a, an overnight thing. This happened for years on multiple instances. This is, uh, it's disgusting. A public library supporter re reacts tonight to the long sought conviction of Grammy winner Urban Mayfield and his business partner for conspiring to defraud library donors. Good evening, I'm Cherise Gibson. And I'm Karen Swenson. A David Hammer investigation in 2015 first exposed the scheme that Urban Mayfield and his partner Ronald Markham pleaded guilty to today. Here's David with the details on a day that's been years in the making. 18 years ago, then Mayor Ray Nagin named trumpeter Irvin Mayfield as the cultural ambassador for the city of New Orleans. In the following years, Nagin funded Mayfield's jazz orchestra with city grants. But when Nagin left office in 2010, Mayfield started looking elsewhere for money for his orchestra. Tuesday, Mayfield and his longtime friend and partner Ronald Markham joined Nagin as convicted felons pleading guilty to using $1.3 million in public library donations to fund the orchestra. I have waited years to hear him say that he is guilty, uh, both of them, and it feels very good. Dixon Stetler, executive director of the Friends of the New Orleans Public Library Charity, breathed a sigh of relief Tuesday, more than five years after my exclusive investigation in 2015 and 2016 first exposed Mayfield and Markham's scheme. It's also been almost three years since Mayfield and Markham were indicted on 19 counts of fraud, money laundering, obstruction of justice, and false statements, later expanded to 24 counts each. Their guilty plea Tuesday takes most of those acts and folds them into a single conspiracy count for which they face a maximum of five years in prison. Mayfield's federal public defender, Claude Kelly, and Markham's court-appointed lawyer, Sarah Johnson, hope for leniency from Judge Jay Zaney. And it was really time just to move forward. The, the events are much more complicated than just the headline, and we're really looking forward to being able to present the full picture, accepting full responsibility, but accept, present the full picture to Judge Zaney before he makes his final decision. But Kelly wouldn't say what that full picture was. And I think if he sees these gentlemen's true intentions, because intention means a lot here. Kelly said Mayfield did wrong, but didn't, quote, line his pockets with the library money. But he did admit to using the money on luxury hotel rooms, limo rides, booze, shows at Carnegie Hall, and a $15,000 gold-plated trumpet. That's why Stetler wants to see Mayfield and Markham pay a steep price. I would like to see them serve every minute of the five years. We will learn how much time they must serve when Jay Zaney sentences them February 9th. David Hammer, Eyewitness News. Now Mayfield and Markham were both released on bond today and have been out on bond and playing music shows for years. They actually signed their plea agreements back in July, but the court was closed because of the pandemic.